Hello everyone, this is Solid Metal bringing you a Summoner Let's Play. So I'm going to be playing Terraria, and uh, I'm going to try going through as the Summoner subclass. Um, so pretty much I'm going to be using magic weapons and primarily focusing on the summoner weapons. So anything that does summon damage like the Nimbus Rod or the Crimson Rod or of course things like the Pygmy Staff, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, my main goals in this are to uh, obviously defeat every boss, get through all the events, and hopefully get every summoning item or at least the best one so I'm assuming like spooky wood armor and pygmy staff uh, tempest staff stuff like that so anyway let's get started I'm going to start by chopping down some trees I'm not gonna do too much of this but uh, I would like to at least get one or two houses built before I go off and uh, adventure get some gel because I'm definitely going to want torches because uh, it might be helpful if I could see during the exploration. Right. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, I'll mine this one just for good measure. And then we will build a couple houses because I would like to get a merchant moved in as soon as possible. Okay, so I guess we'll just make a little house area right over here. Flat, flatten out the area a little bit. Okay. Make a nice wood floor. Yeah, keep going, guide. Keep going. Perfect. Yeah, actually did not get in my way for once. Okay. And then we'll just make a roof. I'm not the best when it comes to building. Things tend to be a little off center because, well, like I don't count them. So this probably isn't even, but it looks even enough. So I'll be happy with it. Um, go ahead and make one of those. I'm going to need two chairs, three doors, and only one table. We already have the crafting table, and that of course already counts as a table. So we'll just put that there. Put one door, two door, a table, chair, and nice. Everything's get out of my way. I don't have to. I don't have to kill any bunnies. I don't have to wait for the guide to move. Go ahead and build some walls. I try not to use the uh, the smart cursor, but when it comes to things like placing walls like this, it's just so much faster. It's so much easier. And I don't see the harm in doing it, so... But typically I do try to avoid it, just because... I don't know, I feel it takes away from the experience a little bit. Alright, anyway, go ahead and put these in. Just so we can have light sources in the houses, and I'm pretty sure that those should both be good. Yep, yep, perfect. Okay. Now, actually... Can I? No, I can't. Alright. So, let's go exploring a little bit. Uh, I would like to pick up as many mushrooms as I can, because they're pretty much early game health potions, which obviously are very nice. There's some lead down here. I will get this, because obviously... Lead is one of the more important early game ores, and even into late game it's still very useful for crafting just about everything really. So, might be helpful if I came at this from top, but a little late for that now, isn't it? Okay. So the first thing that I'm really hoping for, I'm hoping that we have Crimson in this world, because if we have Crimson, then we will be able to 
get the Crimson Staff, which is a summoning weapon. And it's pretty much the early game equivalent to a Nimbus Ron. And overall, that'd be very nice to have because it does a whole bunch of damage if used properly. And it will definitely fit the theme of this playthrough. So that is one of my first goals. Of course, when I can get an Imp Staff, that would be also very nice. And um, I will also try to go for Gem Staffs early on because, I mean, it is supposed to be a summoner playthrough, but summoning does fall into the magic category as far as I'm concerned. So I will be using magic weapons as well. But uh might use a few guns, a few swords, you know. But primarily I'm gonna try and focus on using the summoning weapons. Cause I've never really played a summoner and I thought it would be kinda of fun to go through and make a little playthrough of it. So Alright. Ooh, okay. I am gonna want the stones so I can make a furnace, because Obviously, I'm going to need one of those, right? I am using auto mine again. It is it is quite a bad habit of mine, but it's not that bad, I suppose. But I don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and go up here. I'm actually quite surprised I can make that jump. Okay. I would also like to get some seeds of different kinds of uh, plants, especially Daybloom, and uh, Moonglow, and probably Blinkroot as well, but those are three pretty basic staples for potion making. Uh, why does there have to be this water here? I always thought it was strange when water generated like this, it just doesn't seem to make much sense to me. There we go, there's our first chest. An aglet, okay. It's not the best, but I will toss that on. And of course I will take the chest. I would like those mushrooms, but I don't think it's worth climbing up there. Some glow sticks, that'll be useful. So I can actually see underwater. And we do have a shine potion, which will again be very useful for uh caving, which we will be doing soonish. Now there is also a large tree here and this is one of the ones you can actually go down inside so i'm going to go check this out maybe even find a living loom there is also a chest there i can actually yeah, i can grab it right through there and there are some recall potions which would be very very nice so i don't have to uh in the event that i don't find a magic mirror on my first day time down which i doubt i will then i will still be able to hey we did get a living loom and a leaf wand Alright, anyway, um, I will still be able to return home without having to walk back or save and exit and all that. I, I, I try not to do the save and exit thing too much, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem very sporty. But, uh, right, okay, so it looks like this might be a good place to uh, start exploring. Let's see what's up here. Not much. Okay. Down here. There's also not much down here. There is something down here, though, so I will check this out. Can't see much, but there we go. Okay, actually, I am going to go down through here just so I can collect that lead as well. Also, some clay. I should probably grab that clay. So I can make flower pots, or just straight up pots, or whatever they're called. So that way I can, uh, actually do some planting, which would be nice. Hmm. If I recall correctly, it's six clay to make a pot, which seems pretty ludicrous to me, but, uh, then we've got 24, so that would be, what, like four pots right it's not too bad go ahead and dig through here almost there we go oh, got a bit of lag there um right well 
This definitely is getting into a big cave area. I, I can... I can appreciate that. There are some gems up there. It is only topaz, but... Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, it's just topaz. It's not really worth my... Climbing back up there just for some topaz, but... For since topaz, I'm pretty sure makes the worst... Uh, gem staff in the game, so it's... I'd rather make it out of, um... A better material. Oh, hi, goldfish. It's too bad we can't just catch you now, but... You know, hey, we got a heart crystal over there, or a life crystal, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, we got a merchant moved in. That's very nice. We already found our first life crystal, so we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, there's some more lead up there. I will go grab that. So yeah, this is, um, I'm going to try to make mining episodes as, I'm, I'm going to try and do most of the mining off camera. Because I'm sure this is not entertaining to watch, but uh, for this first episode, I am going to be doing a lot of mining and exploring, and um, just so we can get a general feel for this world. But um, after this, we're mainly just going to be doing boss fights and a bit more exploring. Like, first time I explore the jungle, I'm going to obviously record that, um, the dungeon, etc. But, if I'm just going to get a few more materials, I'm not, I don't think you guys are going to want to see that, so, I'm not going to record that. Oh wow, that's a really big vein. But, uh, I mean, if you would like to see me do all this boring mining, definitely leave a comment, let me know. But, unless someone, or a good amount of people actually want to see this, then I'm, I'm just going to completely cut it out and... So yeah, I won't have to, uh, I won't have to subject you to such boring video, so. Uh, copper, I'm going to just leave copper, I mean, it doesn't really have much of a use. I mean, the starting tools are copper, so I mean, it's not really, you can't really make any better tools with it. And the armor, I might as well just wait till I get a better material to make better armor, but. There is a gold chest up there. I'll go ahead and uh, Okay. What do we got? A flare gun. Uh that's kinda lame, but you know I'm pretty sure I can sell it for a decent amount, so I guess it's not that bad. But Okay. Okay, yellow slime. I don't wanna I don't want to deal with you right now. Oh boy. Oh, that whole three damage crit though. Oh man. Okay. There's some tungsten up there. I'm actually just going to do my best to avoid this guy. Or maybe not. Oh, okay. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Alright. Let's go ahead and mine up this tungsten, and uh, I'm going to try to make my first set of armor out of tungsten, or at least my first metal armor. I'm going to probably make some wood or cactus armor uh, soon, but the first armor I actually make out of a, an ore, I'm going to try to make it out of tungsten because uh, I'm going to want to save my platinum or gold or whatever I have in this world. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's, yeah, it's platinum. So. I'm going to try and uh, save my platinum for tools and weapons first, and then I will uh, later get my uh, either my crimson armor or uh, uh, demonite armor and just bypass the platinum. So that's what I tend to do. Um, I don't know if it's the best strategy, but I just feel like it saves me a lot of time, a lot of work, and it's just... I don't know, I just feel like it's better. But, anyway, I think there's... Yep, there's a little bit more down here. So I am going to explore a bit more. I'm not going to be exploring too much more this episode, but... Just a bit more. Oh yeah, I forgot you can use this underwater. Okay, that actually makes it a little more useful. Okay. Get this cobweb, because... 
whether we have corruption or crimson it, um i'm gonna want the silk because if i can make some molotov cocktails for the boss fight then it'll be very very useful i think it's the best way to take down the um corruption slash crimson boss which would be the brain of cthulhu or the eater of worlds i'm pretty sure that's his name i don't know giant worm guy in the corruption but okay am i, am I out of torches again go ahead and make some more Okay, there is some more topaz up there. I'm pretty sure I can't even make a topaz staff because we have copper in this world. I'm pretty sure the copper goes with the amethysts. But I'm not quite sure about that. Definitely let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's how it is. Okay. Well, either way, I can definitely still sell it, and it'll definitely still be worth money, so. Okay, I think that's about as much as... Oh, right, nope, there is some more lead over here. Go away, cave bat. Go away. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a mouse. Huh. Okay. Grab this lead, and unless I see anything else that's really interesting, I'm gonna then use a recall potion, and we'll head back and sell some stuff to the merchant, maybe build another house, and and uh, that'll probably wrap us up for the, the episode today. But and then I'll do some more mining and stuff off cam, and we should be pretty much ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu fairly soon, because I will probably get some tungsten armor by then and uh and i'll have an all right weapon probably i'll probably make a bow or i'll have some shurikens i already have a good amount of shurikens so or shuriukens or however they're pronounced i don't know um uh, but yeah so let's go ahead and head back all right so we will see what he's got uh, oh yeah, he is selling the, the flares now, because I do have a flare gun, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's worth one gold, so I can get a piggy bank for that much. That'd be rather nice. Um, I don't know. I am going to make my furnace and an anvil. I'm going to put the anvil right there, I guess. Let's see how much tungsten we have. We do not have much tungsten. We have six tungsten. We'll see how much lead I have. Pretty good amount of lead. 34. That's pretty good. I like that. And make a few clay pots. Um, so, yeah. I am going to... I would like to have a good sword. Or at least a decent sword. In case I, they get up in my face. And... A uh, nice hammer would be very nice, because I'm going to need one of those. And I think that's about all I can make for now. Eh. Hmm. I'll make this just because it does not have the reduced range, and the reduced range really does frustrate me. But, yeah. So now we'll sell a couple things off to him. Uh, we will sell a flare gun. I don't... I don't think we're going to need it, so let's sell that, sell those, uh, I'll hold on to the living loom, we might be able to make a cool project with uh, the living loom and the leaf wand, make some, a living wood house type deal, but I would also like to have a living wood wand, otherwise we're going to be using normal wood and it'll look like that wood, and it's just, I don't think it'll work out, but anyway, we will buy a piggy bank, and now... Put that there, put our money in it, and yeah, um, I'll probably make a storage area, I'll do a bit more building, and um, yeah, so I will see you next episode.